Platinum is the, basically the pinnacle of our engineering skills. It represents everything that we know about loudspeakers. And whilst there are striking similarities to the previous range, uh, it is a completely ground up design. You know, the word evolution isn't really what we always do here. We go back to the blank sheet of paper. If we come to the same conclusion, that's great. We got it right last time, but we, we need to be sure. We need to be always confident that what we're doing is the best it can be. On the Platinum Series, we've taken an engineering-led approach to every design decision, which has increased the performance of the range above the old one. With the PL500, we were tasked with developing a loudspeaker that would outperform any loudspeaker we've ever made before. This meant that we needed to look at every aspect of the loudspeaker, including the AMT, the mid-range drivers and the bass drivers, to make sure that we could handle the power and produce lower distortion. For the tweeter section, we developed the new AMT tweeter and increased its power handling drastically over any tweeter that we've ever had before. This makes sure that when you turn a PL500 up, the treble does not become harsh or compressed. We've also looked at the mid-range drivers, and in order to make a significant improvement there, we felt that we should use two. This not only reduces distortion due to the lower excursion, but reduces the thermal constraints placed on each drive unit. For the woofer section, we doubled up, creating four 18-ohm drivers. Each one of these handles one quarter of the power and one quarter of the excursion, therefore reducing distortion and increasing the low frequency extension. So the platinum design process starts with us really gathering around a table and discussing the, the concept stage. You know, from there we'll move to doing some acoustic simulation. That allows us really to drill down into the absolute fine details of, of the acoustic design. A lot of the materials are quite similar to the old Platinum in that the, the cabinet is a laminated MDF. We laminate lots of th thin layers together to be able to create the quite unique shape uh, that the Platinum has of the double curve uh, of the side walls and the, and the rear cabinet. The baffle, uh, it was all about trying to find a really good acoustic uh, material that was uh, was pretty inert and that's where we use this uh, what we call bulk mold compound uh, which is a, a resin it doesn't ring uh, it doesn't resonate the leather is is pretty special we uh, we sourced that from a, a tannery in Scotland it's super smooth super consistent yeah, I know our quality guys work with them very closely we always try and make sure that everyone is the same one of the key features of the new platinum range which we've used throughout is the air motion transformer Air Motion Transformer uses a polyimide aluminium diaphragm suspended in a magnetic field, uh, which is shaped in an accordion fashion, as like bellows. This enables it to push air forwards and backwards, which is required to make an acoustic pressure difference, which is the sound we hear. Because of the folds in the Air Motion Transformer's diaphragm, the surface area is up to four times or greater than a normal 25mm dome tweeter. This reduces the excursion that the diaphragm has to make, therefore reducing distortion. Another technology that we've improved on Platinum is the RDT. You will have first seen this in the original Platinum. However, in the new one, we started from the ground up, saying, is this the best cone technology that we could use? This led to a number of prototypes in which we tried different materials and different combinations of materials. In the end, this led to a honeycomb structure, as per the old one, but with aluminium on the front and a carbon fibre backing. This carbon fibre backing creates slightly different material parameters compared to the front, which we've seen in measurements to reduce distortion from 1 kHz to 4 kHz by up to 6 dB. This doesn't sound like a huge amount, but it's less than fourth the amount of energy. In order to further improve the performance, we completely redesigned the motor assemblies of the drive units, from the base driver in the bookshelf through to the big base drivers in the PL500. What we've done here is move to an underhung motor unit assembly. This reduces distortion significantly through the optimal range of the drivers. All of the components within the voice coil gap are coated in a black layer, which helps to absorb infrared radiation, reducing the amount of thermal stored heat in the voice coil and transferring it to the top plate of the drive unit better. Altogether, these thermal improvements help to reduce compression and increase power handling. Marshall Audio has always used high quality components in our crossovers, and Platinum is no different. We've chosen to use air core inductors for all of the inductors other than the main base inductor, which uses a laminated steel core. These laminated steel cores have been tested up to the rated power of each speaker, so there's no chance of any saturation within the audio band. When someone buys a platinum speaker, what they're buying is 40 years of monitor audio heritage, coupled with everything we know about speaker design. The point of, of buying any product isn't just about it you know, being a, an object of beauty, it's being a, an object that does what it's supposed to do the best it can do. And I think premium products, they need to 
They need to have a personality about them uh, and not be too bland. If you walked into a store or walked into another room, you wouldn't just say that's a generic speaker, you'd say that's a, that's a monitor audio speaker.